The Anniversary of 1872, the History of the Celebration. The 200th anniversary of Peter the Great in 1872 was celebrated in all cities of the Russian Empire on an incredible scale. In Moscow and St. Petersburg, the celebrations were prepared with special attention. A polytechnic exhibition was organized in Moscow on the initiative of the Society of Devotees of Natural Science, Anthropology and Ethnography. According to the organizers, it was supposed to emphasize the contribution of Peter I in the economic development of the country. 24 sections of the exhibition showcased manufacturing processes and finished products created by 12,000 craftsmen and scientists from around the world. 86 temporary pavilions in the Russian style were erected to accommodate the exhibits, which were visited by 750,000 spectators. After the closing of the exhibition, the organizing committee selected the exhibits that would become the basis of the collection of the future Moscow Historical and Polytechnic Museums. When preparing for the festivities in St. Petersburg, special importance was attached to the connection between the policies of the reigning emperor, Alexander II, and the traditions of the state administration established by Peter I. The celebration began on the morning of May the 30th with a prayer service in front of the tomb of Peter the Great in the Peter and Paul Cathedral. Then the celebration shifted closer to the Neva River, where Peter's personal belongings were displayed on the square next to the bronze horsemen, decorated with flowers. Military and naval parades were also held there. In the afternoon, the festivities began on the Field of Mars. 30 paintings from the life of Peter the Great were placed in a specially erected icon cases. Next to each painting, there were reciters who read for the illiterate public the signatures placed under the paintings. Literate citizens received free brochures with accessible texts. The space was enclosed by two pavilion theatres, where plays about the events of Peter the Great were performed all day long. The public strolled on the field of Mars until deep into the night and there was music on all sides. During the following days, a boat race took place opposite the summer gardens. Theatres gave free performances. The Academy of Sciences gave lectures on the life and work of Peter the Great. For several days, the capital was literally seized by celebration fever.